Hello, the Brew Crew, and welcome. Oh, this is uh, grinding out right. Yeah, we will have some evolution here. I have. I did record the old audio, but then um, by mistake I edited it out. So, yeah. And yeah, it will be two episodes a week. And I thought it would be today. It's Wednesday, but uh, since I. I'm not having time to record and such and to make the uh, layout, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to upload it basically on Friday instead. Friday and Saturday. And uh, we're in uh, Sunday, I mean. So, yeah, here uh, my Abeya evolves into a slow bro and then we had some other evolution here kilt uh, leveling up as well so we're just facing off uh, um, climate in this episode and then uh, going forward here so yeah there we have a uh, uh, kilt evolved into a uh, machoke Machoke, and then I had to do a trade here as well uh, later on to get um, to get the much traded away here. Uh, just so you can see, I traded first with an Everest, and I took away the Everest on you, so you could see the evolution. On screen here as well, happening. They are very nice. So uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, where I think definitely that kilt will be macham. Uh, so yeah, really cool there. Welcome back, kilt, and welcome to get a nigga ball here. So yeah, very nice. Two very important evolution there for taking on before taking on the my this uh, post commentary is probably not going to be that great, but well, it is what it is, I guess. And there we go. So very nice as well. We mature uh, or killed the wall there. So yeah, here we are in the episode. Uh, ready for taking on Clement and as you can see here we're to about level 37 so that's pretty nice and uh, Kilt has um, guts so that might work pretty good Olivius uh, and I decided um, to go with uh, Oh, thanks. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> this is the gym leader of Lumia City, Clement. You better watch her, chop. My brother is strong. As strong as you can accept a Lumia City gym leader to be. Got it. Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor uh, any other trainers. None of us would be here if it wasn't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, hope you two have an awesome battle. She's right about that, at least. Uh, let's both do our best in the battle. Okay. Fifth gym leader battle against Clement. Lumius city gym leader. Uh, and the electric type master and he sends out uh, a mole guy and uh, unfortunately I did not have a rock move here so I had just to go for uh, yeah I, I, I went for uh, what's called sword and seer and I forgot that as well about the battle animation I'm so sorry about that so yeah that's a little bit fortunate so I went for rock smash here uh, because I did not know if he would switch out here. I, or actually, I don't... It, electric train, so it might... I don't know why it did not show. It might be just that I cut out some. And then we boo heal there. 
Or maybe it is just electric terrain that shows up. So I feel like Rock Smash. Yeah, it's. Do, do not show the bell animation. That's weird. <laughs> it doesn't actually show the bell animation for electric terrain. And not for Rock Smash. Yeah, I think I forgot about that sadly. And I think I forgot it for the full battle or almost the full episode. So I'm sorry about that, but it's what it is. So Heliolisk, we can use another Rock Smash here. I was r forgetting. I, c I could have had Power Up Punch, but I was forgetting that uh, Rock Smash is actually just a um, TM in this game and not the uh, HM. It's really, it's sometimes really confusing uh, not knowing what is what and such. But Poison Yam does a whole lot of damage here and Tights are able to pretty easily take out all of Clement's Pokemon, so very nice there. Your passion for battle inspires me. My brother, oh Barney, when, when are you going to learn? There's no shame in losing. I'm glad w whenever I learn something new thanks to a strong shelter like the, this girl here. Now, the uh, victory on spoilers, the voltage badge is yours. Or is... did it say voltage? Ah, yeah, voltage. Now they have your voltage badge. You have been seen as a friend and equal to any Pokemon up to level 17. Yeah, and what else do you have to say? I don't know if I... And also, take this TM. This is TM... This Thunderbolt, it says accuracy of 100%, it never miss. Actually, it, it do miss sometimes, actually, because if you dig and... It's not... Some moves, I mean, even... Verto throw and such, if they dig underground, you can still miss if they... I mean, if the Pokemon isn't there, it isn't there, so you will still miss, so... It's kind of a lie, but I guess it's just... With virtual throw, it's just that even if you lower the accuracy, you will still be able to hit and such. But yeah, even if they would go for like fly, you will still <laughs> miss or whatever. So it's a little bit of a false <laughs> lie or whatever to say. So yeah, we uh, eventually do all of that, and now we will go to the Lumios Cafe, I believe it's called, or the. It's called Lysander Cafe, yeah, then that is what it's called. So here we just use the Paralyze Heal, and I believe, yeah, yeah, that's you can see the power up punch. I don't know if I did change it right now or if I change it later. Another soda pop there, and we are able to move out of here. Let's talk about on Red Cafe, yeah. So a lot of cutscenes here as well, unfortunately. I believe that today, in this episode, we did not manage to do that much. And I, f I feel a little bit bad, <laughs> since this should have been up on Wednesday, like I said before. Uh, but it did not turn out that way. And I have so many episodes recorded, but I have not really... Or I have edited most of them, but I have not been able to put them out because I have had so much in school. I hope hope you do not mind. I hope you understand. True, I'm a descendant of the, the king's younger brother. It, uh, it's been said in the stories for 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. Anyway, Emily, do you know how Holocaust is made? Yeah, I do. Yes, he's playing in Los Andres land. He support uh, trainers and Pokemon research uh, with some profits of, uh, from the Holocaust. People are divided in two groups. Those who gives and those who takes. This is how Kalos uh, Regions 2 legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be the person who gives. In this world there are some foolish uh, humans exist. Uh, who uh, would uh, show their star? I, they are filth. <laughs> long, long ago, the king of Kalos sought to take everything 
for his own. So he created a terrible weapon. The fire of destruction was unleashed. The legend has been passed. That is the legend that has been passed down. I don't know why I'm have difficult to. Kalos is beautiful now. But there, uh, there is no foolish actions if number of people and Pokemon do not increase. With that being said, the future is not decided. You can't say for sure that uh, each day would not be the same as the, the last one. And now my screen went away. The ultimate man did manage to wash away the, the clean of the that era's filth. <laughs> I mean, you are so stupid, Sigmar, for thinking that he's uh, like a good guy. Thank you for listening. What a passionate person. He's uh, like a blazing flame. Perhaps his pride is lingered. It makes uh, him burn so instantly. Yes, I don't care. Let me just go on words here and go to that root and bell are, yeah, cut out that what is called um, Holy Coster here. Hello, you arrived very quickly, Emil. Hey, Emil. Let's compare how our, we completed the Pokemon's I won, of course. Uh, I'll leave the filling up the Pokedex for you two. It's boring when everyone do, does the same thing every time. Let's compare how many Pokemon we have seen. Like we always do. This time let's compare how many we have seen in Monte Carlo's Pokedex. Hey, you always lose. <laughs> to put it in another way, I'm challenging you to my very own kind of battle. Oh, so you've seen nine Pokemon. Oh, how frustrating. I mean nine Pokemon. So you've seen Gibble even. There is a lot of different kind of Pokemon in Kalos. Oh, I realize now there's not going to be any background mode uh, either. Emil, I challenge you to uh, Pokemon Bell here, our bell. I have to move the mouse probably because elsewhere it's probably going to stop. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm changed here into Capelina. Uh, go for a poison jab. Unfortunately, it's fake out, so that's decent, I guess. But yeah, Psychic did, did a whole lot, so I decided uh, in the end to anyway switch out here, I'm pretty sure. Or what? Oh no, I went for Flail because I was thinking, oh wait, it will take me down. But actually, uh, unfortunately Flail doesn't really do anything. I thought it would do more, so. No, uh, that's a pr I don't know why I don't do not switch. Maybe I was thinking it would confuse it. I did take a little bit of a risk, I see here, but in the end I at least poisoned. I want Capelina to show herself that she can do a good job here. Just like tights. So we switch in here, and I was, oh yeah, that fake up was not that nice. And I was a little bit worried as well about the psychic here. But we could just rock sma smash and take out that meow stick. And then the two upcoming Pokemon, it was no worries about. I was a little bit worried since I did not know how much Absol could do. So I went for Bone Rush since it hits more than one time. I was hoping for like four hits or something like that. So nicely we get four times at least. And Bite, it still does a lot for not being very effective. So... That's a little bit fortunate, but we go for Rock Smash here and take out Absol, which is sad, but we are probably not anyway going to get Absol in this playthrough. And then he has a Greninja that is a dark type as well, so that's kind of strange. They have the <laughs> two with the same. Yeah, I don't know why it went for quick attack, but uh, well, it did that and it lowered its defense as well in another quick attack. It probably had a um, water move, but anyway. So I believe here I decided to go give it a boss stamp, or if it was later on. Uh, give Tights a boss stamp since she managed to 
both take on the um, and that bell. Thanks, Sean. I noticed you were watching us when I was battling. It was very disturbing. He is the fighting dojo. Oh, uh, Tyrano. I was having so much fun dancing. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. That sounds great. Good for, uh, for you. Now let's go to the scary house. The one in Lavier City. Uh, isn't it just a rumor, isn't it? Come on, let's find out if the rumor is true. Uh, together. It's just a rumor, right? I pass. I'd rather spend some quality time with my Pokemon before heading to Lavier City. Okay. <laughs> so, is it really scary? Let's get and see for ourselves. Are you just kidding? <laughs> so yeah, here we. I was going to catch some Pokemon, but I did not know in the beginning. Or I wanted to slide as well in this. Uh, I wanted to see if this. I was first. I was like, will this work? Will I be able to sl slide the slope? I believe it's uh, one of those as well in. Uh, you know what, so that was pretty nice. And sitting on benches in the rain as well. <laughs> Very cool. So here uh, we had an item. So I decided to pick that up. I don't know if it was really useful. Yeah, rare candy. I guess it's decent for when we get to Elite Four. I'm, or I might have anyway use it. It's, I don't know. So yeah, we're a little bit hurt here. So let's just go for some healing <laughs> items here. To be safe, to not be uh, super worried, and uh, the level limit, I should say as well, is 32 here. So we have to be a little bit careful with tights, as you can see, 39 already, but uh, there are not super uh, many, tra or there are some trainers, of course, on this uh, route and then on the other route. And here I decided just to... I first check out on the next route if you could get a Pokemon there because all the Pokemon or I wanted a, what's it called a dragon Pokemon not Sligo I can't even remember but it slimy thing that is a dragon I really wanted it but I was still like everything else was pretty dull and the, yeah, you will see what we get here in the end. So yeah, I, I did just decide because I wanted to see if I could get to the other route and get actually Gen 6 Pokemon instead of getting, uh, I believe it was one Gen 6 Pokemon and on route 16, I believe it was there, you are an almost guaranteed to either get Punkaboo or Tre Trevenant. So yeah. I believe, uh, yeah, we, oh, here we are back again. I believe, yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, they were stupid. Oh, you don't know Route 15, so you need to go there before. A little bit annoying. But yeah, I'm walking here in the uh, shadow water or whatever, just because here you have a higher, oh yeah, it's Gumi, a uh, higher chance to getting Gumi, but unfortunately we get the one thing I really did not want it, and that was to get another water type, and that is Quagsire. I really did not want that. It was like, I could have taken whatever else. Uh, you, I believe you could get Scroopy, Carablast, I mean Carablast, I haven't used them much, uh, and not Skaroopy, this so I wouldn't have mind that, but yeah, unfortunately, we instead got uh, a <laughs> crit, they're really scary actually, so I decided then to switch out, but uh, well, we take what we get, and we just have five Pokemon on the team, so, I mean, we, it, and it was unfortunately, female uh, right away and we are ke just keep losing girls so unfortunately we have to catch this because it was our first encounter and we did not have it and it was a female and we need a female on the team so yeah it was not too much to do um so yeah we 
catch it eventually. It was a little bit, as you could see, a little, a little bit of a hassle to catch her. Uh, but if, eventually we do get it. It has a sluggish nature. Uh, it lights on river buttons waiting for a prey to st stray into its mouth. And I named this Kur Kurta. I thought that was a cool name. It might... I don't remember really what it is but it is it is some <laughs> close at least so yeah there we have Kurta very cool name or I think it was fitting in a way so it's always difficult since I don't know if the names always fits the Pokemon or whatever sometimes they just stick a random name it's naughty and it's boosted I attack that's pretty good uh, to be fair, because uh, Quagsires are usually physical attacking, so yeah, so I decide to go here and I believe teach some moves because it, it has slam and it has some other moves, which really isn't that great. I don't know if I do it now or if I do it later, uh, or yeah. I, I, as well they give poison jab just because if I need to use kilt uh kill test and poison jab and as you can see I'm probably going to use uh Kapolina and tights in the gym because they both have poison jab. I don't have a poison type so we're not going to benefit from a stab but still um poison moves are pretty good so I was kind of surprised. I don't know how Capolina is a fish. I mean, she doesn't have fist or anything that she can jab or such. And would you not believe we got the Gumi at second? I mean, that would have not even counted because it was a male one. So it was still like, uh, I mean, it was it was thirty percent, and I believe. No, actually, oh yeah, it was uh, either Quagsire, Stunfisk. Or Gumi. So yeah. This is really like. Uh, if I would have gone in the regular grass. I would have had a lower chance to getting a Gumi. So I don't know. But I believe it would be in a lower chance of getting a Quagsire as well. So it's like. Maybe I should have gone in the grass instead. Then I wouldn't have gotten a. Quagsire, or I don't know. Look what I found! A Pokemon trainer! I will destroy Melina. And this was pretty cool. She both had two <laughs> snake Pokemons, I guess. She do love uh, those snakes. So, it's very nice as well, having Capolina here. I mean, that's surprise. I guess the Arbok are pre pretty good, especially defensive, but yeah, I thought... The rain would help out a little bit here, getting um, water pulled boosted, but yeah. I don't know if I said that before, or no, I was wrong. I thought maybe it's another trainer that have, uh, or further on that has, uh, because I remember someone having a Surviper and uh, Arbok, by the well, a Pyro here. Going for just Echo Voice, and we can eventually take out that Pyroar. Maybe not the best of a Pyroar in the <laughs> rain here. So, Kapalina 38. So, yeah, and um, I don't know why it doesn't really happen anything. I just stopped the riot. <laughs> I got, maybe I went somewhere else to do something <laughs> because this is really strange. Oh yeah, there we get the level up, and they win the battle. And eventually, yeah, I decided about here or do we go a little bit further? I can't. We might spell some. Oh no, I believe we almost end off here. Or yeah, I get do get some stuff here. I believe this is a rare, no, this is a cleansing tank, oh well, that's very nice. So yeah, uh, so I believe in the next episode we went, I did just change here, so I have um, 
the battle effects on since I forgot about that before. So yeah, and continue onward. I can't. And we. I might battle this guy, or I, it might be two other persons here. So that's very cool, I guess. Um, and then in the next episode, heading for the what is it called the um, city, the Lavier city. And then ice being here because, or I don't know why I. Maybe I thought it has water up for absorb, but I think it's just have sip zapper. But I might be wrong. I don't remember really. Incredible power. Oh, ah. It was mostly as you not having that evolve, but it might evolve a little bit. I believe it's evolved pretty late. So here we have this train. I know forever since my pre life they would win me here and face off. <laughs> Jeez, she's so creepy, that lady. That a uh, hex maniac, Ania. Has a lit wig, so no worries again. We have water types, uh, we have almost a uh, overcompensation in water types here. Just going for a surf, and that liquid uh, lit wig is just down and out there. And then she has a haunter, and that shouldn't be a problem as well because they are not that bulky. Uh, soccer punch though, um, but as you can see Polonese are pretty defensive there, so we can just one shot with one surf, so yeah, I guess anyway, thank you all for watching, have a good tea and a good coffee day, and I'm sorry that this was sort of post commentary, but well, thank you all for watching, and I see you soon again, so bye!